Hey, y'all, we're going to do a really quick, super quick, maybe 15 or 20 minute workout here based on strength, and we're doing the five foundational movements that should be part of every strength workout, which is a squat, a lunge, a push, a pull, and a twist. So we're going to focus on th those five movements. That's it. I've got a chair. I've got a set of weights, and I have some resistance, um, stretchy resistance tubing. And actually, it's not tubing. It's just a band, a flat band. But anything you have along those lines, um, you could even use a towel and use just isometric movement with that. But what we're going to do is do a quick warm-up, super quick warm-up, and then go ahead and do uh, those five things. So squat, lunge, push, pull, twist. That's it. All right. Super fast warm-up. There's lots of things you can do to, take to uh, warm up quickly. So the first thing we're going to do is bring this heel across the body. So everything here is done in the interest of time. We're trying to warm up lots of body parts at once. Lots of things moving at once. That's it. Good. Both elbows in. Here we go. Squeeze. I don't need squeeze, squeeze, to squeeze, squeeze. Feet, just cause you come here to the bone. Knees in, hands in. Right here. And I won't miss the way that you kiss me. Four, three, two, up with the arms. Up, up, up. up. All right, overhead. A little higher, a little reach, a little more of a reach. Four, three, good. We're going to close the door, bring it across your body. So a little bit more twisting at the ribs. Good, push across, push. Flatten out that wrist. Good, now pull away as you twist. Pull away as you twist. Now that should feel completely different. Before, as you pushed, you should have felt it more in the front of your body. Now it's more in the back of the body. Four, three, two, swing, swing. Good. Hands front and back. Swing front, swing back. Good. Good. Side to side. Front to back. Front, back, front, back, two more. Good. All right. Knees up, up, a little higher, a little higher. Lifting up a little bit higher. Good. Eight more. Eight. And six. Four. Three. Knee a little bit out to the side. Now I want you to rotate into that side movement as much as you can. So we're warming, warming up all the muscles you'll be using. So we're mimicking the same motion. Pushes the pulls, the twist. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Okay, plant those feet right here. Heels back, pushing those hips back behind you before you ever start to move your knees. So stick your tailbone out. Shake that tail fan out. Press. Yes. Moving at the hip right now, not at the knee. Four, three, two. Okay, following it through. Bend the hip, sit down through the knee, knees up, squeeze your glutes. Push the hips back, bend the knees up, squeeze your glutes. Push back, bend the knees. Good. Push back, bend the knees. Good. Smooth it out, down and up, a little quicker. Now we are going to do our squats and our lunges weighted, which means holding weight in your hands or holding resistance in your hands, you know, the resistance band. If you start doing that and you think, oh, I don't like this, put, put it down. Just use your own body weight. That works. Four, three, two more. Two. Okay. Warming up through the lunge. Now, think about a lunge. For a lot of people, it hurts their knees. So I'm going to start very small in a way that's a little more knee-friendly. It will add a little bit more range of motion to it. Stepping the right foot forward, heel toe, put that foot down, bend that knee a tiny bit. My back leg is still straight. Stand up tall, pull that belly button in. Hang on to something if you need to. Pull through your belly button and pull your body back. All right? Heel toe, bend that knee a little bit. 
pull back. And that may be it. That's maybe that may be as far as you want to go. Hang it onto the wall, heel toe. Just don't let that knee go past your toe. Alright? What you don't want to do is that. Because that puts so much force in the back of the kneecap and really stresses that kneecap, and you don't want to do that. All those structures behind the knee. You want to be kind to them. All right, two more. Step forward, heel toe, and back one more time. Heel toe, and back. We're doing the other leg, same thing. So you're stepping out, heel toe, pull back. Once again, making sure that knee does not go past that toe. Good, step, and back. And once again, my back leg is not bending yet. I'm staying with that straight leg and back. Hanging on if you need to. Oops, I knocked down my strap. Good. Two more. One more. All right, bring it back. Good. Now I'm going back to the other foot. What I'm going to do is three little pulses. Three, two, one, and then I'm going to alternate to my other leg. Three, two. Now, if that is pretty simple for you and you feel like you could take it a little farther, you can step a little bigger and start to bend that back knee. All right, once again, hold on if you need to. Three, two, one, and again. Three, two, one. Just make sure, again, that front knee stays about at the ankle or even farther back and the front heel does not lift off the floor. Four, three more times. This leg should be good, warmed up by now. Two more times. Good. One more time. I love balance exercises, isn't it? All right, good. We're going to go ahead and get your weights for the squats. Now we're going to start to incorporate some twisting into your squats. So we're going to hold the weights at the rib cage right there. Bent elbows, isometric biceps contraction. Hips back, bend the knees. I got off the beat. Push back, sit up, squeeze your glutes. Push your hips back, bend those knees. Up, squeeze your glutes. I'm trying out some new technology here. You may notice the camera looks a little different. And you might also notice I'm using a microphone. So, a little different technology today. Good. All right. Sit and up. There we go. Just follow me. Sitting back into your hips, driving those hips back behind you. Pull that belly button in. Resist the urge to arch your low back. Good. Eight more times. Eight. Seven. Six. Am I on the beat? I can't, I can't hear my music very well. Two more. Nope, I'm not on. Down. All right, good job. Here's where we're going with the, the, uh, the twist. Cross your hands in your chest. So we're going to go squat, and then as you come up, you're going to turn those weights to the right side, but you're going to keep them close to your body so that you're thinking about turning your torso, not just your arms and your shoulders, okay? So keep that weight close. Squat down. Turn the weight to the right. Squat down. Turn the weight to the left. A little quicker. Squat. Squat. And up. Like you're holding some books to your chest, right? Or if you're like me, you go in the grocery store and you're like, I don't need a basket. I'm just getting one or two things. <laughs> Next thing you know, I've got an arm load. I'm dropping stuff as I'm trying to get to the checkout line. Whew. So bad. <laughs> two more. One more. Good, beautiful. Okay, hold those weights down. We're doing a uh, lunge, so put the weights down. We're going to use the band. All right. Woo. Holding the arms straight out in front of you. Push the hands away from each other. Step that right foot forward. And we're maintaining that pressure on the band. And we're going to bend that front knee, and if you can, the back knee. So if you need to, it's just the front leg if you have to, if the back knee hurts. We're all the way down into what we would call a split squat. 
to push those hands away from each other. This is really a pulling motion. You're really pulling. Yeah. Have my band let go there. And again, pull and relax. Now my arms are staying pretty straight on this one. I'm not bending my elbows at all. Right? Straight arm. Pull and pull. Beautiful. Eight more. Give me eight. Seven. Six. And five. Four more. Four. Three. Two more. Two. Good. All right, relax. Bring the other foot forward. Okay, same basic idea. Palms up this time. Okay? Palms up. Elbows tight to your body. I'm going to take those hands out and in, like this. Out and in. Good. Still another pulling motion. Pulling through the rotator cuff this time. Beautiful. It's easy to see with a band whether you're pulling or pushing. Clearly you're pulling because you're stretching the band longer. We tend to push with the weights and pull with the band. This makes more sense. There you go. And as always, I've lost count, so let's do eight more. Feels about right. Eight, seven, six, and five. Four more. Four, three, two more. Two, last one. Good. Okay, good job. Grab a seat in the chair real quick. You're going to take your band behind your chair. Right? So I'm going to take this the band behind the seat of the chair. Now, if you only have a towel or something like that, this is probably not going to work for you. You're going to take your weights and just slouch back and do a bench press. Everybody else, you're going to take that band behind your chair. Make sure you don't pull up on it. You want it underneath your armpits, down there, yes? All right, I'm going to take my hands forward. And what I'm doing here is pushing my hands together and relax. Push together, relax. Push together, relax. So it's adduction, hands coming forward and together. There we go. Push and relax. Push and relax. Sit up nice and tall. Good. Instead of having to get on the ground here, we're just using the band to create artificial gravity so we can push. So I was saying usually we pull the band. This is one exception where you push the band. Nice. Okay, if you've got a band, take those hands out here, turn your thumbs up, scissor one over the other. One over the other. Scissor, scissor. Good. Eight more. That's it. Four more. That is four. Three. Two, one, and you're done. Okay, get rid of that band. I'm going to go ahead and take this down around my feet. Down around my feet. So I've got my feet flat on top of the band. Feet flat. I'm going to make sure I've got a good, solid press on that band with my feet. Now I've got the palm, the band over the palms of my hands. Elbows in tight. And where I'm going is curl out. Curl relax. So you pull, push, and you pull. Pull, push. Pull, push. It's a combination exercise here. I keep shortening up my band here to make it a little harder. You see that? I'm just going down the band a little bit. Again. Pull, push. That's it. Seven. Six. Six, five, two, four more, three more, last two, one more, good, all right, nice job, let that band go for now, we're going to do one more thing with it, get your weights, get your weights, all right, bent over row, Triceps, kickback, combination exercise. 
You might have to scoot forward so you don't bang the chair with your weights. All right? So you're hinging forward at the hips. You're making sure that your back doesn't round. So pull that belly button in, lift that rib cage, open up your chest. Hands are next to your shoulders. Squeeze your elbows back. Hands, weights come back to your hips. Now the lower you go, the more you're gonna get that natural rowing motion. But I'm, I'm actually banging my chair, so I've gotta scoot forward again here. So think about squeezing your shoulder blades and your shoulders going away from your ears. Shoulders down. Shoulders down. Ooh. Keep going. Eight more. So we're back to pulling again, aren't we? We're pulling now. That's it. Give me four. Three. Two. Okay, relax your arms. Bend those elbows at a slight rounded shape, a little bit of a rounded shape this way, okay? Relax your neck. You're going to open those arms out to the side like bird wings and relax them. So we're doing that rear delt uh, fly, all right? Row. I mean fly and <laughs> relax. I just told you it was a fly. Opening up that chest. These are small muscles, so they don't need a lot of weight. Ooh, keep going. Eight. Relax. Seven. Relax. Six. And down. And five. And down. Last four. Last four. Give me four. Relax. Three more. Three. Two more. Ooh. One more time. And relax. Okay, put those weights down. Woo, relax your back. I forgot to do the kick. We're going to go back and get that. I did say lat row to kick, and I totally forgot to do it. So we're just going to do the triceps kick separately here. Okay. One more time, we're going to hinge forward at the hips. So feet flat on the floor, bend over from the hips. Think about squeezing your shoulder blades back, not letting your shoulders round out. Bring your elbows up, so they're up around your rib cage, and straighten the arm and bend the elbow. Straighten and bend. Right there. Press, relax. Press, relax. Ooh. That's it. Keep going. Press, relax. Press, relax. Three, two, one more set of eight, and we are done. Keep pulling those shoulders down away from your ears. Six, five, last four. Four, three, last two. Two, one more. All right, relax, good job. Whew. Okay, we're going back to the weight. One more exercise with the band, rather, the band, okay? Now, hopefully, uh, let's see. Well, let's see what happens. We're going to go ahead around the chair. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the band with my one hand under and one hand over. So this kind of grip, like you're holding a baseball bat or something like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to brace the chair so it doesn't go anywhere. So I'm going to put my knee on it. Or, if you can do it, you can put your foot on it, okay? But I'm trying to brace that chair, and I am not going to pull upwards at all. I'm going to try to pull this band toward my side, so I'm getting that rotation. And relax. So turn and rotate. And relax. Pull to the side. And relax. Do it again. Let me turn it a little bit so you can see what I'm doing exactly. And right, right here, rotating over the knee. And relax. Pull, and relax. So this is your rotation, turning at the ribs. Oh, my chair is moving, isn't it? Here we go. Pull, relax. Pull and rotate. Relax. Two more. Pull, relax. One more. Pull, and relax. Okay, I'm going to angle my chair the other direction and do the other side. So I've got to bring the other foot up because I want to turn toward that knee. So again, either knee on the chair, if 
that's comfortable or foot on the chair. You choose. I'll do it knee on the chair for this side. Here we go. Pull. Relax. Pull. Relax. Pull. Relax. Nice. Keep going. Relax. Just make sure that band is not creeping up the back of your chair. You don't want it to pop up and catch you. Turn. Relax. Four more. Four. Three more. Three. Woo, two more. Just saw the Amazon truck pull up. I've been waiting for a package for three weeks. I think it's coming today. Woo, good job. All right, relax. Okay, y'all. Just a quick stretch and we're done. Take those hands back behind your head. Open up your elbows. Got 20 minutes. Bam. Perfect. Nice short one. We got it all covered. Give yourself a big hug. Go ahead and take one foot forward and one foot back. Press that back heel down. Let's see what I'm doing here. Stretching lots of things at once. Okay. Put the other arm on top. Put the other leg back. Up. Go ahead and take those feet wide, up and over to the right side, over to the left side. And relax that stretch, flex that right toe, lift that heel, and lift that toe, keep the heel down. Other way, put that foot down, lift the other heel. Good job, you guys. Take a deep breath up. Exhale down. Done, done, done. Good job. 